The Hug Cellars is on the Union Road Wine Trail. And we're going to take you there today and we're going to interview the owner of the Hug Cellars and find out about their wines. Then we'll take you on a visual tour of the cellar and give you directions of how to get there. Hi, welcome to Hug Cellars. I'm Augie Hug, along with my wife, Raquel. We're co owners of Hug Cellars. This is my nephew, Jaime Cerna Jr., and the three of us make up Hug Cellars. We're here in the wine ghetto of Paso Robles, right across the street from the Ford dealership. Next time you come to Paso Robles, come by and say hello. Let me come on in, let me give you a tour. Hi, I'm Augie Hug with Hug Sellers, and along with my wife Raquel, we started Hug Sellers uh, 19 years ago in 1994. We're a small winery here in Paso Robles. We do our total production of about 1,800 cases, and that's between 18 different wines. Most of our wines are around 100 case slots, some as low as 25 cases, some up to 100 cases. And although we're here in Paso Robles, we make several wines from grapes that are grown throughout the Central Coast. That way we can work from both cool climate growing regions like San Maria, Cambria, and San Simeon, or some of the warmer areas like here in Paso Robles. Very much like a chef, we use different spices when he's cooking. Let me tell you a little bit of something about the wines. One of our wines is our Rosé. This is a blend of Syrah, Grenache, and Morvet. It's a totally dry Rosé, very crisp, as a great food wine. Also a great wine for sitting out on the patio on a warm summer day. We make several white wines. The only one we have available here today is our Vino del Cielo. This is a blend of Chardonnay and Viognier. And you'll notice this has a special label as opposed to the rest of our wines. The artwork for this label was done by a good friend of ours from Los Angeles, an artist by the name of Miguel Vasquez. He's done a whole series of artwork for us, and we'll be using that artwork in subsequent vintages for this particular wine. Here at Hug Cellars, we specialize in Pinot Noir and Rhone varieties, and we have here the 2008 Cedar Lane Vineyard, Pinot Noir. This is our most Burgundian style Pinot Noir. This is a vineyard that's grown in decomposed granite and galets, the round river rocks, very similar to the rocks found in Chateau de Pop. Speaking of Chateau de Pop, our Rome blend El Pape is our tribute to Chateau de Pop. So this is very old school Chateau de Pop style wine, primarily Grenache with a small amount of Morvet and Syrah blended with it. <laughs> One of our other Rome blends is El Maestro. This is 80% Grenache, 10% Morvet, 10% Syrah. El Maestro is a tribute to my mentor, John Alban. He's the one who taught us how to make wines. Our next Rome blend is a 2009 El Jefe. This is a Syrah dominant Rome blend. A blend that has a little bit more structure and backbone. Next wine is the El Forastero. It's a 2010 vintage. This is 100% more vet. This comes from two different vineyards, the La Vista Vineyard, which is here in Paso Robles, and the Santa Barbara Highlands Vineyard, which is in eastern Santa Barbara County. Next wine is our 2007 Cidrone Vineyard Syrah. Again, this vineyard is up in the Monterey County. From this vineyard, we do several different varieties. Sauvignon Blanc, Viognier, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Syrah, Grenache, and Merlot. So quite a few different varieties from this vineyard. The next wine we have today is the 2010 El Chico. El Chico is 100% Syrah from several different vineyards here in Paso Robles area. Estrella Farms, the La Vista Vineyard out on the west side of Paso Robles, and also some from the Cedar Lane Vineyard. You'll notice through the course of me talking about the wines, that some of the wines have proprietary names, and all those names will be of Hispanic nature. It's a tribute to my wife Raquel's family. They, they come from Mexico, so all of, our, all of our proprietary names will be of Hispanic or origin. 
The next wine is called El Magnifico. It's 100% Zinfandel from two different vineyards here in the Paso Robles area, from the Cushman Vineyard and also from La Vista Vineyard. Next wine is our Star Ranch Cabernet Sauvignon. This comes from a beautiful vineyard here in Paso Robles. Judy Starr is the grower and she does a fantastic job with the grapes. Next we have a Bordeaux style blend. This has four of the five Bordeaux varieties in it. It has Cabernet Sauvignon, Petite Verdot, Merlot, and it has a little bit of Morvet blended with it as well. It's a 2008 vintage. Next we get into our Black Label Reserve Wines. The beige labels we like to call our everyday drinking wines. And today we have the 2007 Casa Torres Pinot Noir. This comes from a vineyard that's down in the, in the Santa Maria Valley. Next is La Graciosa. This is a blend of all of our different Pinot Noir vineyards. We have Brousseau, we have Boulder Ridge from Cambria, we have Rancho Antoveros from Santa Maria. So a little bit of, of all of the different vineyards, a good spectrum of flavors. Next is the 2010 Brousseau. This is a vineyard that's up in the Shalone AVA, up, in, up towards the Pinnacles area. Beautiful limestone soils, cool evenings and warm days. Next is our flagship Pinot Noir. This comes from the Rancho Ontiveros in Santa Maria Valley. Jake Ontiveros is the ninth generation grower. Does a fantastic job. We provide this Pinot Noir grapes since 2005. Getting towards the end, this is our El Grande. This is 100% Syrah. This is from grapes that are grown here on the Terry Hogue Vineyard in Paso Robles. Deep, very, very, very dark, inky Syrah. And then last but not least today, we have the 2008 Booker Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon. Booker Vineyard is owned by Eric Jensen. He's a fantastic grower. Again, steep soils, all limestone. A little bit something about the wines. All of our wines are done with indigenous yeast, which means that we use the yeast to come in from the fields that are on the grapes to do the fermentation on the wines. That way we get to tear our, the, the, the nature of the specific site where these grapes are grown are in each bottle. We also use up to 100% whole cluster and a minimum 25% whole cluster on all the grape varieties except for the Bordeaux varieties. Some of these wines, like the Rancho Anoveros, is 100% whole cluster. The El Forastero is 100% whole cluster. So very old world style winemaking techniques, both with the indigenous yeast and the whole cluster. Coming in off the 101, you'll see signs that say 24th Street Exit, Lake Nascimento, or to 46. That's where you'll be getting off. And you're going to be going eastbound there till you come up to a street called Golden Hills Road. Follow the road just a half a block and make the first left. Go all the way down the road and at the end, that's where you'll find the Brochelle Vineyards and the Hug Cellars. Thank you for watching our movie on the Union Road Wine Trail.